my boys are playing soccer. We're going to pretend like I did that on purpose. My name is Sarah. Welcome to my little shop. This is 445 Designs. If you have been around for a year or if you have happened to have caught some of my very early videos, this dresser will be familiar to you. It was a dresser of mine that I made over when we lived in New Jersey. I'm going to be making over this guy today. I was inspired by a, another furniture artist, her name is Dion over on the Turquoise Iris, an old, old video that she did where she used vinegar and water mixture over the paint. It looked super interesting to me. It is a new thing for me to try. <laughs> I seem to be doing that a lot lately, it's just trying new things willy nilly. This guy is in really good shape. I waxed the body and top coated the top. I'm going to be scuffing up the top, we're going to be painting it and there are some repairs, some bits of the wood came off in our move from New Jersey so I'm going to be creating molds out of those using the hot glue trick. Some people have asked me for the hot glue trick a video dedicated just to that. It's on my list of things to do. I'm so sorry, I am a one man band. <laughs> I make these things over, I shop them, film them, I edit them, I put them up, I deal with Facebook market pe marketplace people, both the buying and the selling end of it all. So it's on my list of videos to edit. I promise I am getting to it uh, just super busy because you know in amongst all that I've got to squeeze life and homeschool and mum and wife and friend <laughs> you know all the things so I promise I'm coming to it enough babbling and get right into it Because I used wax on the body of the dresser, I need to get rid of all of that with mineral spirits. So these pieces fell off, I don't have them so we're going to have to make completely new ones. The way in which I do that is to make a mould from the opposite side where there is good moulding. Let's get to it. You guys, I just hot glued that whole thing and it wasn't recording. Okay, it's going to be exactly the same as this because I need this bit as well. What I'm trying to do is not get let air bubbles get in there. Okay. Let that dry. And 
that's the mold. Went there. Gonna go over there. Okay. She's 100% done and ready. I even went over these parts with shellac. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want bleed through. My boys are playing soccer. Got my water just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Painting everything. Wait. In DIY paint, in French linen, which the camera's not gonna pick it up very well. Like a really pretty gray white. And I'm using my vintage tonality chalk brush. have much white left so <laughs> I may have to find a retailer a DIY realty realtor real retailer near me I have to go online and have a little look see um, because what I have left in here is not going to be enough or well, it might be no it's not going to be because I didn't have a full pot
In case anyone's wondering, I was like, wait, you just plugged up those holes and now you re-put single holes in? That's because the holes that were there, right, were up here. So this sat, the round sat in the middle. I'll be reusing the same hardware that I had on there. But now, because it always bothered me because they were always like up. So now they're in the middle. Okay, so, oh, my kids are playing soccer again. Much happier about those. I'm not going to put the hardware in just yet, but when I do close all these, because I was going to have no way to open the drawers again. But now I do because I have a hole. Because I haven't decided, honestly. Um, she does like a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water and I haven't decided if I want to do that yet. So I'm going to be putting on Farm Fresh Green. I've got Paint Pixie brushes. I've got two of them. I've got water. We're just going to see how it goes. So here we go. Okay, if you haven't heard me say it before, if you haven't watched any other videos where I've used DIY paint, it's a clay base paint and mineral and chalk paint, okay? And whenever it gets wet, it reactivates even the two, like I'm starting to get white on my brush. See right in here, some of the white. And that is because of the clay in it, right? The water is reactivating. Which is fine because it does help with blending. What I'm doing, okay, is it, it feels to me like a reverse of the blending. So normally, well not normally, but you start out with a dark color and then you highlight with a lighter color, but I went in with a lighter color because I wanted the dresser mostly white and now I'm you know going around the edgings in the green and then with a clean brush I'm wetting the white and I'm sort of blending that green it doesn't have to be perfect it's just blending it in together and I really like it it's different So I think some of my problem with this is that I didn't go bold enough. <laughs> I need to go a bit bolder. That's what I need to do. So I'm going to fix that.
hit the camera and that's what I'm gonna work with it. We're gonna pretend like I did that on purpose. <laughs> Okay, I am really happy with how this is turning out. It's looking really cloudy. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram, and I can't remember if I record it. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing. But what I did wrong last time was I touched this paint with a brush after it, when it was wet, and it just wrecked it. So I'm not going to do that this time. I've painted it and blended the Farm Fresh green in there. And what I'm gonna do is the same effect that I did on the front. So I've laid it down and propped it up. So when I spray it, it drips down and around the edges. I am just going to leave it and let it drip its little heart out. So. Here we go. I've got the Bohemian Blue on my paintbrush, vinegar and water mixture, and I'm just gonna work in small sections. And I've already discovered that when I wet it like this and already start the drip, that really works very well for me. Okay, and you can't even see what I'm doing because the camera's not. Sarah, come on, mate early in the morning so <laughs> it's, that's what it is let's blame that right so now let's just drip away now this is not going to be for everyone I know that but it's it is more artistic and while I don't want all my pieces to be artistic I'm going to throw in pieces like this every now and again because they bring me so much joy. I love doing things like this where it is out of my comfort zone. It's me trying something new and learning, you know, the properties of paint, how it works under certain conditions and I'm, I'm loving it. So this is not going to be an always thing. My channel's not turning into all artistic furniture, but I am going to throw them in every now and again, again, because it brings me so much joy. So I hope you guys can enjoy that, this part of it, if it's not necessarily your cup of tea. So anyway, anyway, let's get back to it. For about a year now have been watching Dionne Woods over on the Turquoise Iris and she is a phenomenal artist and furniture painter and the pieces that she does are definitely more artistic and I would sit in awe and just watch her paint. I do the same thing to Jodie over on Decorous Vintage Designs and I sit and I watch them and how they paint and how they 
do the drip effect and I'm just so inspired and it just so one day I was just like that's it I'm gonna give it a go and I literally followed Dion's video step by step the only one thing I changed was she did her vinegar and water mix with paint mixed into it and I didn't do it that way I just did just the the vinegar and water mix and then sprayed it and I love it I love the drips I love how vinegar reacted with the the clay paint and it is my favorite it's my favorite I think it's so important for people to find stuff and do stuff that brings them joy and this checks all those boxes for me so I hope that it's okay that I share that with you guys. Next week's piece, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I know what next week's video is now. I have two videos coming at you next week. I have my regular upload on Saturday, but Thursday, you guys, I have a bonus video coming out. It is a celebration slash collaboration with Maggie over at Flip Furniture Mom. Mom is a very hard word for me to say. <laughs> it sounds funny coming out of my lips. But I will be doing a video on Thursday to celebrate her being on YouTube for one year. I am completely honored that she asked me to do this with her and I cannot wait to share this piece with you guys then. See ya, bye. <laughs> Okay, what name should I have? Beth. Oh, all right. Beth, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, I need to keep going. Okay.